Hello everybody, this is Jumpers.tv and this is part two of the game versus my rival. He is, me and him have the same manager and the first time I met him he was all talking trash about he's going to be the best basketball player and stuff. So I really want this game uh, just to prove that he's not better than me. And it's Hollins in at the three at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Now here is Smith. So look for me to go off. Smith left side. I had to and shoot that, that because I was calling for a screen. From the sideline, let's but catch the up. buttons got mixed up, I guess. Well, thank you, Kevin. There are a lot of questions as to how Dante Exum will develop as a player. He has the skill to be a two guard, but grew up playing point guard. He would prefer the point, saying that's the position that has got me here. That's what I want to be going forward. We'll see if the coaches agree, Kevin. We'll see how it plays out. Thanks, Doris. Burks. And that one is stuck right through. Good example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight. Yeah, I guess that happens when you're a lot of screen like that. You've got to make sure your feet are set. I agree with you, and I thought maybe he was set that time, Steve. I thought it was a good screen on his part. Alec Burks, really known as a slasher coming into the NBA out of Colorado. His outside shooting was questioned, but he's put in the work. And he's become a solid three-point shooter. Still young, he's only going to get better and better. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And Burke at 6'6", good quickness and ball handling ability, Clark, and he can play points in a pinch. And you know, Kevin, the Jazz asked him to play there at times in the past. Combo guard skills with legit shooting guard side. That's a lethal factor. Looking at the games for Hayward, he's got 10 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. Times a game can... Come down to which team wins Those the free of you that battle. don't know why my uh, my player looks so ugly. And it's Smith penetrating. Just because right I did the face scan and the made my dude like Here's made him way too light first of all and made and him look like he got two black eyes. But where was the like, box out? Yeah. I, I, like someone told me how to do it. You gotta have like yeah, no some colors or something behind you, like like some even colors and natural light and stuff so this I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna do it uh, again soon feeds it to Hayward pulls up on the wing that one a little long the defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot I mean he doesn't miss many of them Smith with it. He's got six. Smith left side. And that one's good. Now just a two-point Utah lead. Here's Burke. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Burks sets a screen for Burke. Oh, here's Hayward. He's covered closely. Hayward is and going to go. Bro. Hayward's got 12 Jeez. points in the game. And here are the Kings now. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Here's Smith. And a big pass off the rim, but it sinks right in. He's got 10. Really did a nice job recognizing the mismatch that he had and uh, immediately cashing in with that mid-range jumper. Burks kicks to Favors. Here's Burke, averaging 14 points a game. A shot by Hayward, wide open. Oh, my Here's gosh. Favors. Oh, my Played gosh. Nice Don't let him blocks. get the inside when Favors you're has got his second bucket tonight. trying to get a rebound, to bro. Because as soon as he gets it inside, it's easy just to inside. go back That's up. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter okay. guys. Landry gets the bucket. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. For Utah, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Burke dishes to Burks. The pass to Cannon. 
Fade away. And Hollins pulls it down. Hollins has got three rebounds now in this one. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the board. Yeah, both teams have really put in a terrific effort down low. Now here's McLemore. Five on the clock. Here's Smith. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Some outstanding numbers in this one for Smith. He's got ten points and three denials. I'll tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out, but his offense has been outstanding as well. So Utah ends up going with the new group. Utah shooting pretty well, 46% from the floor. Exum passes to Novak. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Come on, why you hit the foul? What a block call by the officials. The Jazz have been solid at the line Wait, no. So That's the guy I got to check. That's my rival the right there, I think. Nice shooting. No, why'd you take me out? Oh, I wanted to cook him with his bench plan. Let's go. You're up. Oh, now I'm up. Wow. The was the the why Shot do they off. do that? The I hate that. That's what they, they take me out when I tie you. the game up. And then we lose, like, we, we go down a lot, like, and then I'm the one who has to bring us back. Like, it's hard enough bringing us back by two. Cannot hit. I tell you what, folks. Why are you calling timeout? Time the clock run. Don't sub me in. Here's Exum. If he makes that. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Some BS. Now if his team wins, I'm gonna have to hear all this trash, and I don't care because I'm not starting it over because 2K is retarded and the coach is retarded. And needs to get fired. State Farm assisted the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he it better be me. For a reason, Kevin, oh yeah, that's me. Passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass, but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know. Wow, now we got to press in the freaking beginning of the fourth Jazz quarter because you want to take me out the game. Fourth quarter action underway, presented oh by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup. So on the floor for Utah, they've got Gobert. Trevor Booker is out there with Steve Novak. Then it's Exum, and it's Hood, and it's the two spot. Hey, this is the, this is the guy. The this is my rival. He is some cheese. Like, I might cheese him for the rest of the game. If I cheese him for the rest of the game, he cannot play D. He's not playing with D. I can't do everything, bro. I, really, I got four steals, one rebound, three blocks in this. And, um. Oh, yeah. I'm about to, you already know you're about to get cooked. Now, come set this pick for me, Oh, yeah. That was not tip. He just put his hand out there. You better. That was not tip. He put his hand out there. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Jazz. Their activity at the defensive end, Kevin, has been really impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. McLemore's checked in for McCullough. No. Why do you put Burke back in, bro? He feeds it to McLemore. Back to Smith. He's picking up the ball too much. Six to shoot. Get this rebound. And he hits it oh. just before the shot clock expires. Utah leading by eight. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Burke, the pass to Hood. And the I thought they were going to call foul, but Very they, they, they didn't make the it. So. They've got their shooting percentage up over 50%. Now, they got a great chance to go ahead and close this game out because their offense is really clicking right now. Now, here is Smith. Pulls up on the elbow. And yes, sir, that one drops. Smith's got four points in the quarter. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Tries from 10. And again, it's Utah. Well, you made that well, you hate to early. see a guy suffer through a game like this, but his team is winning. Smith. 
Smith, left side. The shot is off. The Jazz have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Here's Burke. That's good. Really on and a now a 12-point okay. Jazz lead. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Landry with a screen for Smith. He's looking I'm for Landry and finds him. He used that pick to get in close. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy do. Very, very well done. And the Kings making a change here. Better not put me on the bench, bro. Wow. It's go time. Fuck you. Jazz leading by eight. Wow. That's so and dumb. Jackson. They didn't want they did Next not want Rebels. me to win this game. Promise. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. My team now, suck. Fella, watch out, you might bring that whole but they don't suck. Like, bring the Marcus Cousins back, bro. <laughs> I think he was just in, enjoying the moment up there. Now here's McLemore. They hurt my only like really good player. Like I got Rudy Gay, but besides him, Shot they hurt one assist. of my like one of my good players. Here's Gay, and so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. How about the game for Rudy Gay? He's got 11 points, and he's chalked up one three for the day as well. Yeah, a lot of times. They, oh, he's I think they're gonna put my the dude that I got. Oh no, they didn't put him on the bench. I get to cook him for like a minute, thirty three seconds. The Kings making a switch here. Smith has checked in. 100% free throw shooting this half, guys. Efficiency is so crucial when you're trying to overcome a deficit, Steve. That's good. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Now, here is Smith. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Smith's got 12 points here in the second half. I'm having 14 20. left in the fourth quarter of this one. Exum kicks to Kansas. Down low, Hayward, the rim rattling <laughs> two handed jam. The clock ticks down, and this is going to be a solid victory here for the Jazz. Clark, this was a physical, physical game. Yeah, but the awareness they had offensively to penetrate really was the difference. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. You freaking suck, bro. Right? Go sit on the bench. This is one of the last two times out. They weren't nearly as productive. Yeah, they'll now be one and two. They, they them animated the Marcus Cousins getting so hurt. Like out of all people. With a split in those out of all games. people. Now here's favors. Like, when the, the hell is he coming here's back? Bro? And Allen's pulls it down. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor. Ah, uh, you got five points. To hurt and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. You hurt now? Good on the first, and that brings them within single digits. Both teams deciding to change it up. And a tough break as his second attempt at the line, no good. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Pass to Novak, out to the wing. Bring him a line now for the three. Just five on the clock. So the first one drops, and that will push the lead to double digits. Sessions checked in for Sacramento. Good on both. And it I just feels like those are the free throws that probably put this game out of reach. And nothing you can do to, to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Any chance they had is gone. Here comes Dante Exum. Dang, this place got super empty. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Time out. Here's Smith. Off target with that shot. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. So I lost this game. 2K cheesed me, so I lost this game. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played but, uh, great all around. Wait till my rating gets better. I'm on. I'm on. 